The moment is now. Are you ready? Hello, my name is Damien. I'm from Bulgaria and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete an army's mission called Up the Middle. So, for this mission I have to start with my marine pieces no more than three blocks apart from each other at setup. During gameplay, I have to draw my opponent's marine pieces to the opposite sides of the board, maximum three boxes from the most eastern space and three boxes from the most western space on the board. Then from starting point no more than five spaces from my flag, I have to use my marine, one of my marines to travel between my opponent's marine pieces and to capture my opponent's flag in three moves or less. So for this mission I have previously created my own setup which I'm going to use now. This is my most recent setup, so now I click and I wait for my opponent's decision. So my opponent decided to switch positions, so my setup zone is located into the south, I play with the green pieces, and my opponent's setup is located into the north and he plays with the red pieces. Now I am first to go. I will start with pushing my coast guard forward onto the coastal waters onto the most south corner of the coastal waters because I would like to gain control over the coastal waters in advance my opponent decided to move his president two blocks to the south from his setup zone it's next to the coastal waters so what I'm going to do now is to move my army two blocks further toward the expanse. I would like to make free the path of my vice president in order to uh, to try to organize an offense against my opponent's president if his president eventually enters the expanse deeper, I mean. So my opponent pushed forward his coast guard onto the onto the north corner of the coast of waters right here so now I will get my vice president one block to the north and with my next move I will probably move my army two blocks toward the expanse. Now I move my army into the expanse and at the same time I cover my army by my vice president. So I threaten my opponent's jet into the expanse and if an eventual capture of my army occurs by my opponent's president I would immediately immediately capture my opponent's president with my vice president. So my opponent moved his jet from the expanse into the eastern corridor. That was a long flight path. So now I move my vice president three blocks toward my army and my vice president is also into the expanse now. My opponent moved his army from his setup zone uh, next to the Polder Valley. It's not a danger for me for now. That's not going to be a good move. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to... I'm going to move my vice president behind my army into the expanse and with my next move I consider moving my army one block uh, to the 
northeast in order to threaten my opponent's president with it and at the same time to cover my army with my vice president but I would like this cover to be into a straight line because if I capture a curse I will be able to still threaten uh, I mean after the capture I consider doing to still be able to cover my army because if I if I did move my if I did leave my vice president here for example after I move my army on this uh, block here into the expanse after I capture my opponent's president I would not be able to cover my army by my vice president from my opponent's marine pieces now my opponent moved his marine pieces onto the northwest side of the coastal waters on the great sea so Two, three. So if I move my Coast Guard here, I will be able to threaten my opponent's marine pieces. But he will be able to capture my Coast Guard. So if I capture, if he captures my Coast Guard, I will be able to capture his marine piece with my marine piece. And then he would be able to recapture my marine piece. I think this is a good move. So I'm going to try it. It's just that I'm afraid that the computer often likes to exchange marine pieces and I would not be surprised if he decides to capture my Coast Guard because he covers his second marine because he sees my Coast Guard with most of his with both of his marine pieces, but no. He decided to move his marine piece. Uh, next to his army and the Polder Valley onto the coastal waters of the Eastern Sea so I should probably proceed pressing my opponent's marine piece with my Coast Guard in order to try to drag my opponent's marine piece into the Eastern Corridor But first I would continue my offense here with moving my army one block to the northeast and at the same time I cover my army with my vice president. So my opponent should either capture my army with his president or run away. He decided to run away so for now I stay here and I would, would not like to, to move these two pieces. Now I move my Coast Guard onto the Polder Valley, where I cover my Coast Guard with my Eastern Marine piece into my setup zone, and at the same time I threaten my opponent's Marine piece by my Coast Guard, so I hope my opponent is going to move his marine piece somewhere into the eastern corridor. Okay, that happened. That is good for now. So what I want to do now is to step forward with one of my marine pieces. In order to reduce the distance between my marine piece and and my opponent's flag, and at the same time, I I am into the rules of the missions, which require me to be no more than five blocks away from my flag, and there are one, two, three, four blocks for now. So I'm fine for now. What I'm going to do now. is to move my pres my vice president two blocks to the north while at the same time 
both of my pieces, my army and my vice president, into the expanse, still cover each other. Now I move my vice president one block to the east in order to threaten my opponent's president. And what is likely to happen here is my opponent to capture my vice president with his president. Afterwards, I'm going to capture his president with my army into the expanse here with moving my army one block to the north. And then my opponent is going to capture my army with his marine piece, which is a nice development of the situation for me for now. And with my next two moves, with my next move, I'm going to drag my religion into the expanse, and I will try to use my religion as a bait to make my opponent go with his marine piece into the territory I am required to drag it in which is uh, no more than three blocks away from the most western part of the board as you see the other marine piece of my opponent which is into the eastern corridor is no more than three blocks away from the most eastern part of the board it is one two blocks away from the most eastern part of the board so this marine piece is good for now now I move my religion uh, into the expanse to the northwest and I assume that my opponent would not like to capture it yet because I cover it by my marine piece. My opponent decided to move his jet into the eastern corridor my opponent is just moving his jet back and forth. And now I move my religion onto the most western part of the board. And my opponent will probably capture it with his marine piece. And his marine piece is going to be located onto the most western uh, space on the board. Now starts my mission. I have to capture my opponent's flag for three moves or less. So what I'm going to do now is to move my to capture my opponent's aircraft carrier with my marine piece and at the same time I'm out of the sight of all the pieces my opponent can capture me with So I move my marine piece uh, through the coastal waters in the Great Sea. With my next move now, I capture my opponent's reserve, which is my second move. I am still out of danger, and with my next move, I should, uh, I should capture my opponent's flag. and my mission should be completed. My opponent decided to move his helicopter to the southeast and the midpoint of the flight path of my opponent's helicopter was the space where his religion was located so he captured his own religion with a friendly fire. Now I capture my opponent's flag. This is my the third move of my marine piece. And this is the victory sign. So, in this video, I showed you how when you start with your marine pieces, no more than three spaces apart from each other at setup, you are able to drag your opponent's marine pieces uh, into the opposite side of the board uh, in maximum three spaces away from the most eastern and most western space on the board. 
and when you drag your marine pieces in this specific area, you are able to capture with your opponent's flag uh, with three moves or less. I did it for three moves. Uh, while your marine pieces are not more than five blocks apart, uh, five five blocks away from your own flag. So thanks for watching, and bye.